If you are comfortable to introduce Kare, you introduce yourself to all of us. Yeah, my name is Hedai Jaz and I hail from Wakan. Uh, I'm eldest of my siblings and uh, I'm currently working as lecturer of biology uh, in Punjab Higher Education Department. Uh, apart from studies, I like to uh, do baking, content creation, uh, playing badminton and walking, reading books and many other things. And uh, my foremost aim is to serve Pakistan. And with the word serve, I mean to do whatever I can do in my humble capacity. Um, to help the people address their grievances. And for this purpose, I intend to join the civil services. Thank you. So, you are working in the education department. Yes, sir. In the government of Punjab. Yes, sir. And you want to join federal government in the civil service of Pakistan. Yes, sir. Please, I mean, what do you know about Pakistan? How you will introduce Pakistan? Pakistan is actually a very um, Pakistan is actually a country with very diverse ethnic, cultural, and uh, historical background. If we talk about Pakistan specifically uh, in terms of um, Muslim dimensions, like uh, how Muslims came here in this area, then we can trace back it to um, century from for Ka Muhammad bin Qasim. Uh, and uh, coming um, after um, and coming to this stage after so many centuries, we can see that um, the culture and the ethnic background and um, uh, the political systems and uh, the different um, school of thoughts Pakistan in Pakistan, which are currently prevailing, they are actually the accumulative effect of all those historical backgrounds. Uh, so uh, in Pakistan, we can see that um, we have not. The, um, a uh, well developed uh, you can say um, uh, unity in uh, different uh, perspectives but still this negative impact is um, held back by the uh, different um, uh, you can say um, uh, the good things about pakistan which are actually um, overcoming the negative things in pakistan um, we have a lot of um, natural resources, we have um, a wide um, geographical diversities in different areas of Pakistan and um, uh, there are many other things which can, which can be improved, uh, for example, uh, tourism, the security and the political stabilities, which can make Pakistan a center of uh, um, cultural and uh, political and tourist and other centers for different uh, sectors in the world and tourism sector, uh, which can help Pakistan to rise above its current level. You are teaching yes, and you have got experience. What are the goals of education? Why education policy is there? Why we teach? What are the goals? Of what do we want to achieve? Sir, actually, what we want to achieve through education is to shape the minds of young generation. We actually want to groom their personalities. We work um, on their thinking process, on how do they think. Uh, for my education philosophy is that whenever we are teaching, we go to class, uh, although we focus on curriculum and syllabus and what do, they, what do we teach them. But more than that, we actually focus, if I talk about myself, uh, I'm more focused on their thinking pattern. How do they perceive Pakistan? How do they perceive their own life? and how do they can change it for the betterment of their selves and their nation. For example, if they are thinking very negative of Pakistan, their own life, they are frustrated. I've seen the uh, young girls, they are very, um, very much tired of their societal pressures and the responsibilities which have been inflicted upon them since a very young, younger age and they can do nothing and that they have no prospects in, in future. So I try to mold their perception. I try to tell them uh, these are the dimensions which you can utilize and these are the good things about Pakistan, this society, and uh, these are the degree which you can do. Actually, I want to change their mindset from negativity to positivity. And I think if we adopt this strategy as a whole, rather than only focusing on number and grades, which mostly educational institutes are um, concerned with, 
uh, then I think education sector can serve better. Are you regular in newspaper, reading newspaper? Mm -hmm. What is your opinion about the current political scene at the national level? How you will explain it to us? What you what do you see? Uh, sir, actually, the current political system, mm, the main problem of current political system is instability and the lack of consensus on even very important matters, uh, including security of Pakistan. Um, a good example of this can be seen uh, with the lack of consensus on uh, the National Security Conference, which had to be held in, in recent in uh, recent past. But it was delayed, and the parties showed no consensus on um, this important matter. So uh, I would think that to improve the whatever situation Pakistan is undergoing, be it political, be it social, cultural, or security point of view, or the provincialism or other problems, the foremost thing which the political uh, leaders should focus is developing a unity on at least on the uh, topics of social or uh, security importance. Like, for example, they have to develop the consensus beyond their differences in their political ideologies. So I think if they develop consensus and focus more on what they can do for Pakistan rather than focusing on what should be done for them, uh, it can help Pakistan. Welcome to CSP's Academy for CSS PMS preparation. CSS PMS तहरीरी इम्तिहान के तमाम मजामी की ऑनलाइन और ऑन कैंपस तैयारी के साथ साथ सब्जेक्ट सिलेक्शन असाइनमेंट चेकिंग क्लास टेस्ट मॉक एग्जाम इंडिविजुअल टीचर डिस्कशन और फीडबैक सेशन का इनका किया जाएगा इसके अलावा एफ पी एस सी की तजवीज करदा बुक्स से बने मैरी नोट और सी एस पी पब्लिशर की बेहतरीन बुक्स मुहैया की जाएंगी रजिस्टर नाउ एफ जीरो थ्री वन सिक्स फाइव सेवन जीरो वन फाइव Nine three. How do you see the uh, impact of social media and politics? Impact of social media and politics. Uh, there is a huge impact. Actually, mostly political leaders we have seen that they are not even the political leaders. Even every sector of society is now being heavily influenced by social media. They prepare their strategies. They make their mindset. They develop. the perception of uh, opposite personality on the basis of how they are perceived on social media they are um, they only focus on how for example if everyone um, everyone nowadays they have social media accounts be it twitter facebook social media and they are only focus on how do they look on social media how do they make up their thoughts to get liked by people on social media no matter they are um, no matter how they are in real life so social media is actually the most important effect that i can see and which i want to uh, you can say that i want to change is how it is impacting the young generation because social media for young generation it is actually doing more negative as compared to doing good they are wasting social media um, their time for on social media they accept the negativity and the different algorithms which are designed to influence their mind which is actually drifting them away from their goals and uh, to some extent their love for country hope you are looking into this uh, russia ukraine war you uh, are sir, following what are the reason for this war sir actually i think the most important reason russia invaded ukraine is their fear of um, influence by uh, capitalist countries or by united states uh, and uh, europe combined uh, this is basically this lies in history they have a historical background of being influenced by capitalist countries and the america and european they are um, they have fear of russia uh, as we can see that in history they um, came forward with different deals and programs um, preventing the russia uh, to um, come forward in europe so in order to uh, stall the european and western advance towards their own country uh, russia invaded ukraine but i think this is actually proving to be negative for russia too because now they have prolonged the war to such an extent that uh, it is not it is not proving to be of any good for russia too so they must come up with some strategy that this ends to some good because it is not uh, bringing them the result they wanted 
it is declining their economy it is affecting their economy which might decline their economy too and um, it is um, um, producing other food insecurities and energy insecurities and supply chain problems for the different world so they are not coming on a strategy which would end the war rather they are um, doing um, you can say the policy shifts which is on, which is only um, increasing the time frame and proving to be of no results you studied microbiology and immunology what is your take on uh, pakistan's response to covid uh, if we talk about uh, there are different dimensions for example if we talk about the how the political leadership responded uh, it was uh, in my opinion it was a very good response Uh, they did not impose the complete shutdown or lockdown in pakistan um, with the fear of um, with the fear that it would prove detrimental for the lower strata of life that was a very good strategy we didn't follow the western policy of imposing whole shutdown and uh, if we talk about uh, the health sector how is how it responded uh, although there was a huge pressure on health sector uh, but health sector itself is not very much developed in pakistan it responded to the limit with which it could it uh, responded to its full potential but actually we have not worked on that health sector we didn't uh, invested in the health sector so much that um, in addition to health sector we actually did not invested in research side we um, during the covid times i observed that uh, uh, different universities including my own university and the nurse and vaidyaazam they do try to uh, they try to develop certain kits they try to develop the diagnostic kit um, and uh, prognostic and uh, they even try to come up with the policy that how could the vaccines be prepared and what would pakistani researchers would do if they had money so that was only restricted to uh, the policy and making policy because they didn't have enough money and Uh, you know invest in uh, vaccine and uh, high level research because that demands a very high level of money that pakistani universities usually do your favorite personalities include mehmed the second why uh, because of the courage and the leadership qualities actually um, mehmed too i wrote her because um, i have read his biography uh i watched uh, the different movies and documentaries related to his life and uh, although they were produced and directed and written by different authors and directors but every one of them showed uh, his courage and leadership quality as the foremost and uh, those leadership qualities and courage and the fear of no one and to achieve whatever he wanted it is actually which i want to see in the leadership of current leadership Uh, which could prove helpful for Pakistan. Can you enumerate some of his achievements? Uh, he conquered the Constantinople, which was uh, uh, tried um, the previous many predecessors. Many predecessors tried to conquer that Constantinople, but uh, either they lacked uh, the resources, either they lacked uh, you can say not they didn't lack courage. actually the you need the, you have to be persistent you have to be determined uh, to lead a siege of which would uh, last to many months and he had that stamina and potential in himself that um, i wanted to do it and i have to do it and he did it but in his young age he was very indisciplined and he was often punished for his behavior well i think uh, this can be attributed to his um, craziness or madness which added to his uh, determined and uh, crazy nature uh, i think uh, if we see the positive side of this this actually helped him in doing what he wanted to do if you do not have a slight tinge of uh, you know craziness and going on for what you want to do or uh, you cannot achieve such huge things in life uh baking is your hobby can you give me history of baking uh well as far as i remember the baking history um, in my memory goes back to uh, pizza which uh, pizza which uh, started from italy uh, and um, for the bakery items other than pizza i can remember exactly join csps we are we believe that your dreams are our mission so let us be your partners in this transformative journey 
as we equip you with knowledge, confidence and resilience required to emerge as CSS stoppers. Contact us on our given WhatsApp number 0316-570-1593 or visit our website www.csps.com.pk What is the difference between an oven and a tandoor? Oven is a... Um, oven has a continuous supply of gas or electricity while a tandoor, a modern tandoor, they do have the gas supply but uh, they uh, actually... If we... Um, Say the word tandoor, uh, the the structure which comes in our mind, it is um, powered by, um, you can say, coal. Uh, that's the basic different source of energy. Okay. Uh, what is a silver fish? You have done zoology. What is a silver fish? I can't remember. Physiology or anatomy. Thank you, Rida. <coughs> Let's talk about your group preferences. Why military lands and cantonment group at third instead of police service, custom service, IRS? Sir, actually, uh, I myself is living in a tent area mm -hmm. and uh, I like the calmness, peace, the discipline, security, and all these things in tent area. And I want to see that how civil and military comes to a point where they are regulating in a tent area. And um, I actually like a job which is not very much adventurous. That is why I have not put police service uh, at the third position. Okay, okay. Uh, let's talk about uh, my rest of my question will be related to the economy. Uh, what is meant by budget deficit? Budget deficit is that whenever, um, for example, if you have fixed a certain amount of money um, to fulfill the demand and fulfill um, the different functions, and but your expenditures exceeds your fixed money, then you want to go the deficit. Okay, and what is uh, current account deficit? I guess it is more or less same. The current account deficit, the difference between your expenditure and income. Uh, what are the parameters on which NFC award is decided? Uh, NFC award uh, uh, is decided um, uh, in proportion to um, the population. There are five parameters. I had studied it, okay. but I uh, What is meant by inflation? The inflation is actually uh, the higher prices in the market. Uh, it can be temporary, induced, permanent, or due to certain reasons. Okay. Is there any difference between IMF and the World Bank? Yes, there must be the difference between IMF and World Bank. Um, I guess if you allow to know. Yes, please. Uh, IMF is actually dealing with lending the money uh, for different bailout packages for the countries who are undergoing economic um, shutdowns or economic meltdowns while the world bank deals uh, with investment sector I guess. okay uh, you have mentioned queen elizabeth ii as one of your favorite personalities can you tell us her complete name okay. uh, one last question from my side uh, what is the concept of politics administration dichotomy Yes, sir. I haven't read about it. Sir. Give your career a boost with CSS PMS preparation from Civil Services Preparatory School. Join CSS PMS for on campus and online classes. Join us for your bright future. Civil Services Preparatory School, Jitan Markel, Islamabad. Register now at 0316 570 1593. Thank you, sir. <coughs> Gita, uh, since Abhi Sir uh, baat kar rahe Queen Elizabeth to kill. you know that how long she remained head of state, Dominion State of Pakistan? Uh, she, um, for one year only, I guess, because uh, she um, she was crowned in, no, she cannot be, um, you can say, the head of uh, Pakistan. She, she was actually crowned in 1952. When Pakistan became Islamic Republic of Pakistan. 1947. Before that, Pakistan was a dominion state. What is a dominion state? You read political science. Dominion state that uh, you are um, you are being um, led by a foreign country. Uh, dominion. Okay. Well, what you know about Byzantine Empire? Well, the Byzantine Empire was um, a Christian empire which uh, was from um, five 
0682 and when its capital been conquered its capital was conquered by okay. what is polity in greek political con uh, polity was a city uh, you can say it is more like city for example the city state uh, in our current political dimension we say it is as a country and in the greek term it used to be a city so they alternatively used the word polity for that when happened when there was a declaration of independence happened the declaration of independence yes. was signed on 4 july 1776 then second continental congress happened and what it was concluded what concluded in that second continental congress in second continental congress actually they decided to go against the british and start a war and uh, i guess it was something like the us introduce a economic recovery plan after the world war 2 for europe what that plan is remembered or name given to that plan i don't exactly remember the name but i actually remember why it was given because the european countries after the world war 2 they were undergoing economic meltdown and they were uh, having high inflation and because they suffered heavily in world war 2 but the america didn't suffer so uh, america decided the first purpose was to gain the control on european markets and then to contain the communism from um, spreading in these european countries so actually they okay uh, uh, can you tell me when rule of british east india company ended in india uh, the immediately after the war of independence which year 1857 1857 1858 Can you tell two salient features of Proclamation Act? Okay, thank you, Rita. Thank you. चले हैं, Rita. Let's conclude the formal interview. ठीक है? अब informal discussion करते हैं. You can ask question, and we have got some feedback for you. You tell us. What you? What is your personal assessment about your performance here? Sir, actually, I went to wise the political science. I was actually focused on Pakistan history, starting from Chandra Gupta to uh, till date twenty twenty two. So I have uh, scheduled the political science and U.S. history uh, from end of the February. Uh, I was more focused on compulsory. Actually, I haven't started revising optionals yet. Not yet. Okay, this is a defining moment of your life. Yes, Let me tell you. You are in the education department. Well, nice. You are doing well. No issue, no issue. But here, luckily, brother, you have made it. The written, uh, it actually you have covered two stages, and this is the third stage of your examination. And you are going for Pakistan services. You must know about Pakistan much more. You must focus on job. Focus is possible. You are not in a state of preparedness. You have not accepted the challenge. Challenge to her. Like you have not accepted it. This is what we conclude. Challenge होता ठक 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 सवाल जवाब होते हैं. ठीक है ना? ये general सवाल है जो हमने पूछे हैं. वहाँ भी they will be testing you. आपकी intellectual capacity देखेंगे, potential देखेंगे, creative capability देखेंगे, analytical आपका mind देखेंगे. ठीक है ना? तो सोल्यूशन ओरिएंटेड आपसे एक डिस्कशन होगी मैन आई आज की बाउट टू वट आर द गोल्स ऑफ एजुकेशन तो यू हैव टेल एस कि तुम्हारे जहन में एज ए टीचर एज ए कैडमिशन तुम्हारे को पता तो होना चाहिए ना कि हमने करेक्टर बिल्डिंग करनी है हमने नेशन बिल्डिंग करनी है हमने अपने बच्चों को पढ़ना लिखना सिखाना है ठीक है ना मतलब ये कुछ चीज़ें होती हैं जो कि समझने वाली होती हैं अच्छा एक तो आप अपने इंट्रोडक्शन को रिवाइज करो ए वन पेजर बनाओ मेक इट शॉर्ट एंड क्रिस्प जो कि आप जो है ना उसको डिफेंड कर सको ठीक है लंबा चौड़ा नहीं एक मिनट में डिलीवर करना है यू हैव टू टेल यूर आप ना यू सी लुक इन टू मैं जिस तरह देख रहा हूँ आप एजुकेशनिस्ट हैं एक यू हैव गॉट अप देर थाउजेंड्स ऑफ पीपल हुआ रहता है एजुकेशन डिपार्टमेंट बट यू आर अमंग दो वेरी वेरी फ्यू चंद लोगों में से हो जो कि सी एस एस एग्जाम क्वालिफाई करके आके बैठ गई तो दिस इज ए पैशन यू हैव गॉट पैशन फॉर प्रोग्रेशन कह दो डेवलपमेंट कह दो बेटरमेंट के लिए दिस इज योर व्यू ठीक है ना तो आप इसको वन पेजर बनाए अपना तो उसको आप करें यू हैव गॉट अ वेरी गुड पर्सनैलिटी 
नथिंग टू वरी कम्युनिकेशन स्किल बिल्कुल ठीक है तुम्हारे कोई फिक्र करने की जरूरत नहीं यू कैन कम्युनिकेट तुम्हारे मैसेज आ जा रहे हैं हमारे दिमाग में ठीक है इंटेलिजेंट है आप यू हैव डिमॉन्स्ट्रेटेड कॉन्फिडेंस उस वक्त आता है जब नॉलेज हो नॉलेज नहीं होगा तो कॉन्फिडेंस नहीं होगा यू आर ए टीचर यू नो इट बेटर अब ये करो कि आप एक तो पता नहीं डायरी तुम बनाती हो या नहीं इंटरव्यू डायरी बना रही हो ना तो इंटरव्यू डायरी में कम से कम सौ डेढ़ सौ टॉपिक हो जिन पे पॉइंट्स लिखे होते हैं वन टू थ्री फोर पॉइंट पॉइंट्स बस ये डायरी है एक पेज है या एनर्जी का पेज वन टू थ्री फोर पॉइंट खत्म फूड क्राइसिस सिक्योरिटी ऑफ फूड पॉलिटिकल इशू पॉलिटिकल सीन इकोनॉमिक सीन पाक चाइना पाक इंडिया पाक कश्मीर इशू पैलेस्टाइन ये इस तरह होते हैं तो वन टू थ्री फोर पॉइंट चार पॉइंट से ज्यादा ना उसमें लिखो ठीक है ना पिछले नवे दिन के अखबार निकालो तीन महीने के कोई एक अखबार उठा लो अंग्रेजी का उसको सारा रिव्यू करो नेशनल इंटरनेशनल नेशनल सोशल न्यूज उनको नोट करोगे जब तो ये सारे इशूज क्लियर हो जाएंगे तो फिर आप उसको रिव्यून करते रहो सुबह उठ के देखो कि आज मैंने ये एक सौ जो टॉपिक मैंने बताया ना फॉर यू इट इज अ मैटर ऑफ जस्ट वन वीक एक हफ्ते में तो बना लोगे क्योंकि यू हैव ऑलरेडी डन इट तो इसको बना के रिहर्सल करो रोजाना उनको रिव्यून करो तो दिस इज मतलब एंड कम इन स्टेट ऑफ प्रिपेयर उसे कौन मैंने चैलेंज लिया महीने के बाद मेरा इंटरव्यू मैं तो घर बैठ के तैयारी करूँ तो आज की डेट में हमने यहाँ तुम्हें एक सौ अस्सी और दो सौ में से प्लेस कर रहे हैं यू कैन गो अप टू हंड्रेड एटी टू टू हंड्रेड मार्क्स ठीक है ना जो लेस देन सेवेंटी परसेंट है बट मोर देन सिक्सटी परसेंट है ठीक है ना बट यू नीड टू गो पंजाब से हो तो तुम्हारा कॉम्पिटिशन हाई है तो यू नीड टू गो दो सौ बी चालीस पचास के लगभग जाना चाहिए उसके लिए तुम तैयारी करो ठीक अस्सी परसेंट तुम्हारा इंटरव्यू इसी में से होगा ये जो कुछ जैसे ये हुआ है ट्वेंटी परसेंट जो तुम अखबार अपडेट लोगी तो उसमें तुम्हारे पास सारे इशूज आ जाएंगे ठीक है ना तो ये थोड़ी सी तैयारी करो मैडम रिदा यू हैव अ वेरी नाइस पर्सनैलिटी वेन यू गो फॉर इंटरव्यू यू हैव टू ड्रेस फॉर एन इंटरव्यू this is not a dress for interview uh it's better to wear a black gray navy blue uh white neutral colors instead of lal peela that doesn't go very well or most of all to phir uske sath joote bhi waise hi lo theek hai uh knowledge gap hai jo aapne favorite personalities likhe hain remember they are not interested in knowing these people everybody knows them they want to judge you from the people that are here theek hai mehmed the second ki great achievement hai kyunki wo pehli dafa tha ki musalmanon ke hath constantinople aaya tha abhi inhone byzantine empire ka aapse capital pucha aapko nahi aata tha constantinople it tha but you got confused you shouldn't get confused जब कोई सवाल आए सोचे एंड यू कैन आंसर यू हैव दी आंसर इतनी ज्यादा पर्सनैलिटीज ना लिखो सानिया निश्तर अ वेरी फाइन पर्सन लेकिन शी इज अ पॉलिटिशियन डोंट ब्रिंग कंट्रोवर्शियल कैरेक्टर्स ब्रिंग न्यूट्रल पर्सनैलिटी अदरवाइज यू आर फाइन वर्क हार्ड एंड यू डू वेल अच्छा रिदा सर ने और मैडम ने कम्प्लीटली ऑलमोस्ट सब पूरी अपनी फीडबैक दे दी है सिर्फ एक चीज़ उसके अंदर ऐड कि सर की जो सजेशन है डायरी इसको आपने बहुत फॉलो करना है इकॉनमी के इर्द गिर्द हर चीज़ घूम रही है इकॉनमी आपको बहुत वीक पॉइंट है क्योंकि मैंने सारे क्वेश्चन आपको इकॉनमी में पूछे थे आप वजह डेफिसिट और करंट अकाउंट डेफिसिट को मिक्स कर गए इन्फ्लेशन पर आपने अपनी डेफिनेशन दे दी Uh, उसके अंदर मंडे वाले दिन एक इकोनॉमी पेपर आता है डॉन के अंदर देखा होगा आपने पहले उसे येलो पेपर कहते थे yes, अब थोड़ा सा कलर उन्होंने चेंज कर दिया उसका uh, वो पूरे हफ्ते के पढ़ने के लिए होता है कल आएगा उसको पूरा हफ्ता लगा के पढ़ें जब उसके अंदर पढ़ेंगे आप आपको टर्मिनोलॉजीज नजर आएंगे उसके अंदर सिर्फ टर्मिनोलॉजी इकोनॉमिक टर्मिनोलॉजी होंगे आप उस पर महीना जब तक इंटरव्यू नहीं है आप उसे फोकस करें उसे एक्सट्रैक्ट निकाल के अपनी डायरी के अंदर करें आप इंटरव्यू तक बहुत अच्छा प्रिपेयर हो जाएंगे ठीक है आप माशाल्लाह बहुत अच्छी पर्सनालिटी है आप कम्युनिकेशन स्किल्स अच्छी हैं 
नॉलेज गैप है इसको कवर करने की कोशिश करें सर राशिद मजेंटी में फ्रेंड मेरा पूछने का मकसद ये था कि क्या आपको पता है कि कॉन्सेंटेनोपोल उनका कैपिटल था क्योंकि आप अर्ली पार्ट ऑफ इंटरव्यू मतलब इट मीन इट मेक मी फील कि आपका नॉलेज जो वो थोड़ा सा सती है एंड डेप्थ स्टडी नहीं है आपकी फिर उन चीज़ों के बारे में ठीक है और आपने ऑप्शनल का जो पार्ट है इन चीज़ों का आपका नॉलेज जो है वो टू मी इट्स ए सॉर्ट ऑफ फ्रिजाइल और सर ने सबसे पहले आपको ये शो किया था कि बताया था कि सैम्पतीज जो है नहीं दिखाई जा सकती इतनी बड़ी पोस्ट देने के लिए यू हैव टू अर्न इट और आपको फिटेस जो है वो आपका नॉलेज बनाएगा वही आपको कॉन्फिडेंस देगा ठीक है थैंक यू थैंक यू सर